lot of people ask us, how'd you get here? What was the route? Um, I guess it's a good story. Um, Sid and I hadn't taken a vacation without the kids in a long time, so we decided we'd take a vacation. We picked uh, Spanish Wells, which is in the, the north of the island, <coughs> and made reservations, everything else. And while um, we were waiting for that, I got on the internet, and uh, I found a place that was up in Gregory Town for sale. So I looked at it, looked nice, price was phenomenal. Couldn't even buy a lot of land for the price of this house. So I called up the guy, <clears throat> and he was from uh, Florida, and he was just like, and you'll see this, the next section, um, just like Jeff Spicoli. Now, I'm going to play that section for you so you can understand who, if you're not old enough or you don't remember, Fast Times in Ridgemont High. But he sounded just like that. He sounded just like that. So I get on the phone with him, and we talk about the house, everything that's, uh, he tells me, oh, there's a cracked tile here, there's this, that. And I'm thinking, yeah, this is too good to be true. So we get towards the end of the conversation. He starts saying, well, since you're going to be there, go look at it. See if everything's the way I told you it would be. And I said, OK. And then he goes into his Jeff Spicoli routine, and he was a surfer dude. It was, hey man, uh, you know, I really don't like to haggle. So I'll tell you what, let's just call it this price if you like it, and that'll be good. Does that sound good to you? So in the course of a half hour, 45 minute conversation, he had dropped the price on the house by $20,000. So I said, well, there's got to be something wrong with it. But there really wasn't. We got there, we saw the place, and by the time we had left, 10 days later, I got friendly with a, a lawyer. We had made the purchase, uh, and we owned a house in the Bahamas. About two months after that, the lawyer called and said, um, I've got an old historic place on the key um, that needs a little bit of work. So you can see those pictures coming up. So as you can see from the pictures, it was a little bit more than a little bit of work. It had leaned, um, I don't know, quite a few degrees. And from what we found out, it leaned one way or the other depending on which storm came. So if a hurricane came from one way, it would lean one way. And if the hurricane came from another way, it leaned this way. So we came down, we looked at it, talked to people. I went inside and looked at it and I had seen it was built as a post and beam kit house. You can see the uh, some of the pieces are, are numbered. And so I went to the guy and I figured out how much work it was going to be and everything else. And we ended up uh, making him a substantially lower offer. And he said yes. So all of a sudden now we had two properties in the Bahamas. So after that house, this came up and we decided We'd, we'd buy it. Yeah, this is what it looked like. It used to have a bit of a lean. It was rather old. We 
jacked it up, put in a new foundation, and turned it into this. Eventually we ended up selling the other one, but uh, it was just one of those circumstances that went from one thing to the next thing, and we ended up selling the house up north, and we were just staying in the house on Cupid's Key, and it's just been sort of an evolution, and now we live here most of the time, 99%, and I also work here. So that's just how things work sometimes. <laughs>